Hello learners. Now let us see how to solve this uh, fourth degree polynomial or a biquadratic equation. See, this is basically a standard reciprocal equation. If you'll observe the coefficient of x power 4 and uh, the constant are matching. The coefficient of x cube, which is minus 10, and the coefficient of x, it is also minus 10. And like in, in between, there's a center term. Now, whenever you get an equation of this sort, like uh, wherein you know x, power, x has a power 4, and what you need to do is you need to divide this entire equation by x square. Now let me divide this entire equation by x square. Basically, I'm going to divide each term with x square. So I'd be getting something like this, okay, x power 4 by x square and it continues. It's on your screen. You can see it. Now, x power 4 by x square would be x square, okay? Uh, you guys remember, right? a power m by a power n is a power m minus 1. So this would be x to the power 4 minus 2, which is x square. Here I'd be left out with minus 10x plus 26 x square, x square would get cancelled. 1x and here 1x would remain. And plus 1 by x square would be as it is. You can observe it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, you know, uh, group terms. How? x square and 1 by x square, I'm going to write them side by side. And minus 10x and minus 10 by x, I'm going to write side, side by side. And then plus 26. Why I'm doing it, you'll understand. Uh, stay with me, you'll understand. So now this. Now, as I told you, uh, I'd be grouping. Now, this x square plus 1 by x square. It's nothing but x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. It is nothing but x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. Why it would happen? Because, because you, you see this one, I can write it as something like x square plus 1 by x square. I can do plus 2 minus 2. I can do plus 2 minus 2. Now, uh, x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. This 2, I can write it as x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x minus 2. Now, this is nothing but x plus 1 by x whole square. This is nothing but x plus 1 by x whole square. This one, your uh, understanding I'm giving, you need not have to write all this in an exam. x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. Ultimately, these first three terms would come out as x plus 1 by x whole square and minus 2. So that's why I got here x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. And in these two terms, I took minus 10 common. I'd be left out with x plus 1 by x. And then plus 26 equal to 0. Now, uh, minus 2 plus 26 would be 24. So this is what I'm left out with. Now, I'm going to take x plus 1 by x as y. I'm going to take x plus 1 by x as y. So that my entire equation would reduce to something like this. Now, you see how I got it from biquadratic bi to a quadratic equation. Okay. Now it's very easy to solve. Now I'm going to use a formula method in case if you're familiar with the factorization. Yes, please go ahead with it and get the answer. Now here a is equal to 1, coefficient of y square is 1, coefficient of y is minus 10, uh, b is minus 10 and c is 24. Uh, standard formula y is equal to minus b plus of minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. I'm going to substitute the values and this, you would get uh, something like this. Minus of minus 10 would be plus 10, minus 10 whole square would be 100. And 4 into 24 is 96. 2 ones are 2. This is what I'm left out with. 10 plus or minus under root 96. 100, un, I'm sorry. 10 plus or minus under root 100 minus 96 by 2. Uh, 100 minus 96 is 4. So here you have and root 4 is 2. So ultimately I'll be getting 10 plus or minus 2 by 2. Now this would be nothing but 10 plus 2 by 2 comma 10 minus 2 by 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 by 2 is 6. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 by 2 is 4. That's my answer. So y is equal to 4 or 6, 4 or 6. Now, I'm going to find out the x values for this y value. Remember, what is our y? x plus 1 by x. So, case 1. Observe it, how I'm writing side by side. It looks neat if you write like this. And it consumes less space also. Case 1, y is equal to 6. Case 2, y is equal to 4. What is our y? I told you. x plus 1 by x. So, this would be nothing but x plus 1 by x equal to 6. x plus 1 by x equal to 4. Now, let's take LCM. This would be nothing but x square plus 1 by x equal to 6. x square plus 1 by x is equal to 4. Then multi then uh, send this x here and here also x here. x plus x square plus 1 is equal to 6x. x x square plus 1 is equal to 4x. And then get this 6x here, get this 4x here. These are another two quadratic equations. Now to solve these two quadratic equations, again use the formula method. Here if you'll see a is 1, b is minus 6, c is 1. Here a is 1, b is minus 4 and c is 1. So this is what I have. Now, again, write the formula. Formula is not needed because you mentioned it once, it's, you know, but I just put it down, okay, for, because it will be easy for your reference. Now, substitute the values here for the first case. 
I have uh, you know b as minus six, a as one, and c as one. Now here minus of minus six would be plus six. Thirty six minus six whole square is thirty six, and then thirty six minus four. Yeah, I'd got it in next step. Similarly, put these values here. Minus of minus four is four, and minus four whole square is sixteen, and four into one minus four. So ultimately, I'd be getting six plus or minus under root thirty six minus four here. Four plus or minus under root sixteen minus four. Thirty six minus four. 32 and 16 minus 4, 12. Okay, now observe uh, 32 and 12 are not perfect squares. They are not perfect squares. So it's a given that our answer will have some irrational form. Okay. But we can, you know, just simplify it a little. 32 I can write root 32 I can 32 I can write it as 16 into 2. Okay, so root 32 I can write it as root 16 into root 2. Likewise, I can write root 12 as Uh, under root of four into three, it's nothing but root four into root three. Okay, now root sixteen is how much? Four and root four, two. So this would be nothing but six plus or minus four root two and four root two by two and four plus or minus two root three by two. Now uh, in these two terms, I can take out two common. Therefore, I'd be getting two into three plus or minus two root two. And here, if I take two common, I'd be getting two into two plus or minus two root three. Obviously, denominator is there. Now this two, this two would get cancelled. This two, this two would get cancelled. X is nothing but three plus or minus two root two, and here x is nothing but two plus or minus root. Therefore, ultimately, ultimately, I'd be getting this. The roots of the given equation are three plus or minus two root two and two plus or minus root three. The statement is important. Uh, this carries some marks. It's better to write why unnecessarily, you know, give a chance for the later to cut down your marks. That's it. Thank you very much for staying with me up till here. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It will inspire me to make many more videos like this. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you very much.